Hello, today we will discuss about um, design of this I-beam with cow pattern of this aeroplane and this is uh, some of the example while in flight the cow reap on the jet plane subjected to anticipated moment of uh, 16 newton meter at the section determine the maximum bending stresses in the reef at this section and sketch the two dimension view of the stress distribution so here you can see that the cross section area of this our airplane and we will find out stresses in this i beam so mostly in airplane uh, it will use the i beam for uh, buckling and all this thing for external pressure so we will find out what is the stresses at i beam so we know that in previous video the stresses is moment multiplied by this centroid minus this this is location where we find out the stresses this is area of this cross section and this ra is also the same thing rc and this is uh, radius neutral uh, radius and this is r so this R is, R is equal to, this is actually centered, R is equal to A divided by this each section uh, neutral axis. So first, let's go guys, we will find out, um, first we will find out R, so R is equal to divided by uh, this neutral axis. So for this section, I will divide I beam by this, sorry for this sketch. This is look like I. So this is thickness is around 5 mm. And this this is neutral axis. Assume that from year to year distance is 600 mm. So for this uh, section, miss this we for one, this for two, and this for three. And we will find neutral axis. So for section one, it is look like this. So this wave uh, thickness, so 30 multiplied by land and this uh, 605 divided by this 600. Same thing, this is uh, thickness, this 5 multiplied by land, this is up to here. So 600 plus 5 this and plus 20. So this is 625 divided by 605. And this third equation is 30 plus len up to here. So total length is 630 and our up to here is 625 so this first summation then second and third it will give our this da upon dr sorry da upon dr r so we will find out da upon dr and this r equal to our cross section area divided by dA upon dr. Now we will find in python code. So I have already written this uh, import numpy as np, uh, import matplotlib as plt, import mat.m, our thickness is 5 mm, this flange thickness is around 20 mm and web height means web thickness is around 30 mm our central center distance from here is 600 uh, uh, mm and our moment is 16 newton into meter so i have converted it into mm so multiply by 1000 now we'll find out this this uh, h1 i will find out this this is h1 is equal to 605 so h1 is equal to o multiply by thickness h2 is equal to h1 multiply by this uh, 
of flange thickness so this one and our s3 is equal to s2 multiply by plus sorry summation with phi so thickness so our h1 is equal to 605 h2 is equal to 625 and h3 is equal to uh, 630 now we will find out our d a r so d a r is equal to this um, sorry r1 is equal to 30 sorry w multiply by m dot m dot then log this uh, h1 divided by o same thing r2 r2 is equal to thickness multiplied by m dot log h2 divided by h1 r3 is equal to w multiplied by m dot log h3 divided by h2 and d a sorry d a r is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 our area is equal to a is equal to this whole area so this triangle this triangle multiply by so two times of thickness multiply by wave and flange multiplied by its thickness so we had find out our area so capital R is equal to this one A divided by DA by DR D A R so we had find out our R value now we will find out stresses so Q C is equal to m dot this r minus our rc value so i will write out rc is equal to rc is equal to it will start with this point here so start with o point and end with this up to here so O plus T plus flange plus T so up to here up to here and we will divide into 30 so RC is, is equal to this numpy so NP dot line space it will uh, divide in 30 parts so I will divide with area multiply by rc multiply by this r is equal to centroid this so our centroid is sorry o plus sorry not zero o plus this whole um, same thing o plus t plus f plus t divided by 2 because up to here means so this r minus capital r i will just divide into three parts first and print our qc value here you can see that i got some uh, stresses So we will plot this QC. So we will plot this QC into PLT dot plot QC and RC line space. So here you can see that our stresses is plotted. And uh, first I will print our R value. 
and then um, this small r value you can see that our r value is sorry so r is not correct value so I will just write 0 oh, 50 so I will first write sorry total height of total h is equal to t plus f plus t so I will write h divided by 2 again I will run it uh, now it is correct so stresses is around this one so I will write print qc just run it here you can see that our stresses is around 4.77 MPa and uh, minus 4.67 MPa this is compressive stresses and this is tensile stresses so by this way you can find out the stresses uh, of this I-beam at aeroplane cross section. Please share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys.